if someone uh, has a family member, if they're booked for a vaccine and their family member is 12 to 17, can they all go get their shot together potentially over the next few weeks? Like, is that something that's being uh, looked at? And Minister Dix, a, a study is being done uh, in conjunction with the BC CDC around uh, vaccination levels at long-term care homes, comparing staff to residents. It's obviously much lower for staff. Are you concerned about that? And, and why do you believe uh, that has happened? So the, in terms of the first question, yes, we're trying to make all of our immunization clinics. This is one of the operational things that we've been uh, consulting on over the last couple of weeks um, since the Pfizer vaccine, or last 10 days or so since the Pfizer vaccine was approved for use in younger children. Um, and yes, uh, you can, if you have a, a parent or a guardian who has an appointment booked for tomorrow and you're uh, 12 to 17, you can go with them and we will make uh, the clinics family-friendly for everybody. Um, that's the intent right now, that families can go together, and that's one of the reasons why we're doing most of the immunization through the, the clinics, that, the community clinics that we have established. So, um, yes, uh, go together. I think the overall take up in long term care of vaccination has been excellent. We're, we're monitoring these things all the time. Remember, there are new people coming in and working, and obviously new residents in long term care, so it's important to keep the situation updated. In addition, it's important to remember, I think, that uh, we're going through, in most long term care homes that haven't finished, uh, didn't finish their second doses. So if you remember from uh, the month of March, about 72% of residents, and I think about the same number of staff in long-term care had received their second dose. But we're going through a period where we're ensuring second doses in all those places, and that has been an opportunity throughout the province to reinforce the importance of vaccination and first doses. And that will be true everywhere. So remember, we'll be doing second doses as we go forward uh, through the summer, and that will be our opportunity to pick up people who may have missed their first doses. So I think there's been very significant take up around healthcare workers, whether they're in acute care and long-term care. We can always do better because we're always short of 100 percent. But uh, this is a period when we're continuing to push and raise those immunization efforts everywhere. Just to give you one final example, 87 percent of people uh, over 70 have now received their vaccination, 87 percent, 83 percent of people over 60. But as people will note, that leaves um, some people in those categories who are eligible to be vaccinated, who have a reason not to be vaccinated, who need to be vaccinated. So we're going to continue to push in all these categories. And I think you're right, Richard. We have to continue to do that in healthcare and everywhere else as we can raise the uh, level of vaccination to the absolute highest possible level. It's more important than long term care in most places. But you'll see in terms of our results in long term care that were presented in detail by Dr. Henry uh, uh, in the last number of modeling sessions that she's presented, uh, the impact of vaccination on long-term care on staff and on residents has been profound, continues to be profound, and demonstrates why everybody should register, 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 book, book, book.